And we want to go back to the lake in Emily right now. We told you earlier how the small city ne nearly triples in size in the summer. Yeah, it's incredible. A sure sign of a great vacation getaway. Chris and Liz are at Lake Emily with more on what you can do if you visit. Hi, guys. Hi again. Hi, ladies. Yeah, Emily, of course, is just one of many lake communities in this part of the state. In fact, there are four in just a few miles from here. And we were really surprised to find out how many talented people live in this part of the state. Yeah, in fact, a recent project just opened up its doors here in Emily, and it's uh, aimed at showing off everything this area has to offer. Everybody that's represented here is local. This is a way for them to get their product out that they couldn't otherwise do. This is the Landing Welcome Center and Marketplace. It's the dream child of Mary D. Hansen, Jan Mossman, and Cindy Miller. Our goal from the get-go was locally crafted, handmade, artisan goods. We didn't want the souvenir gifty stuff, not even necessarily the up north items. We just kind of wanted to be really unique. Unique is exactly what you'll get. The shop opened for business two months ago, but it took a labor of love to get it to where it is today. Personally, it's sort of Minshell, which is Norwegian for my soul, because we're such a part of this community, although seasonal. I wanted to give back in some way, any way that I could. We have photographs of the outside when we first started, and it was just drab and dingy. We're doing this because we love the area and love the community. You certainly get a sense of community when you walk in the door. We have a lot of fun stuff, I think, and very creative people. Besides all the local treasures you can find, they also host classes. The next one coming up is making a fairy garden. There's going to be one on creative well-being, uh, nutrition, movement, self-love. And they do it all with one thing in mind, making the communities of Emily and the surrounding lake towns better for the future. People that, that exhibit here and sell here, my dream would be they would be so successful they would then take the shop next door and they would be successful and someday you'd say, wow, have you all gone to Emily, Minnesota? That is such a cute town with so many things to do. It, it's really a great place. The landing is open every day from 11 to 5, except for Wednesdays, because that's the day that they host their classes. And if you want to learn more about what's going on at the landing, which is obviously a lot, as we just learned, just head to wccocom links.